Do you have an employee who's maybe set up your company page on LinkedIn and then left your organization and you're trying to figure out how to get into your company page? Hey, it's Brenda Meller. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get access back to your page. Let me start first with what prompted this. I actually got an email from someone. I'm not going to name the individual or their company, but they reached out to me to ask a question, and I'm going to read you what they had sent to me. Hi, Brenda. I recently visited your website regarding your LinkedIn expertise and was wondering if you could help with an issue we are experiencing. I work for X company and the page, the company page has become impossible to access. A former colleague created the account as an admin However, we have no knowledge of what email or password was used for the page. This also cannot be requested from the former colleague as they left suddenly without a handover. This means that the information is outdated and does not reflect the company as it should. I appreciate any support regarding this matter. So I'm going to send this video over to this individual. I'm not going to disclose the name or the name of their company. But first, I want to address what happened. There was one person who had access to the LinkedIn company page and that person left the organization. That's gonna happen for you and for your business. Somebody will be leaving. So the first thing is making sure that you have at least two people who are full-time employees who are admins of your company page at all times, even if you're self-employed. If you're self-employed, it should be a spouse or a partner or a relative. But if you're a large organization, you should have at least two people who are admins. Typically, those are individuals who are in marketing Sometimes they're in HR or recruiting. Sometimes they're in the legal department. Sometimes they're in the IT department, HR department. It could be a combination. Sometimes it might even be external agency partners. So try to get at least two full-time employees in addition to any external partners set up as admin in the page. That way this won't happen. When somebody leaves, somebody else will have the handout. But let's assume you're in the bucket that you're in right now. What do you do next? So I'm gonna pull up my LinkedIn and I'm gonna illustrate this point. Now this process does have to begin with you adding the organization into your experience section. So the person who's gonna request this access back from LinkedIn does need to be an employee of the company. And I'm gonna use an example on my profile. Sometimes what I will do is I will put in my experience sections, organizations that I'm a member of or where I serve on their board. And I did this uh, before starting the video today to test this out. So I am a member and a national speaker through an organization called in Innovation Women, which supports women speakers. By the way, I talk about LinkedIn. If you're interested in booking me as a speaker, but if you click on their logo in my experience section, because I've added it in my experience section, it will bounce me over to the company page. Now, technically, I've put it in my experience section as an employee, quote unquote, right? So now what happens when you get on the company page, you're going to notice there's some buttons at the top following an invite. By the way, you should do this from desktop, not from the mobile app. When you're on the page, I want you to click on the three dots. Voila, you're going to see it says request admin access. Now, once you click on this, you're going to see that it says, I verify that I'm an authorized representative of this organization and I have the right to act on its behalf in the management of this page. And we agree to the additional terms for pages. Now, often what will happen is LinkedIn will verify that you have an email address that matches the domain for the website. At that point, they should be able to give you admin access in pretty quickly. If not, they might require some other, other form of, of um, verification, but typically it's just that you have an email address that matches the website domain. So let's say, for example, Innovation Women, let me click on their about. If I look at their website, it's innovationwomen.com. So if my LinkedIn email was brenda at innovationwomen.com, whether it was a primary or secondary email, they're gonna be like, yeah, she's an employee, we give her admin access. And then as soon as you do get into the page, what I want you to do is I'm going to show you from my view, I'm going to go back to my Meller Marketing Company page right now. And once I get into the page, I'm in as an admin. So let's assume LinkedIn has granted you admin access. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the settings and then you're going to click on manage admins and you're going to remove that person who is no longer an employee of the company. So you do not need to log into LinkedIn as them. As long as you get access into the admin area of the account, you can remove them without their approval. And then immediately, if they're only one other person who's an admin, you need to add in. Remember those at least two full-time employees of the company in as admin. And in a pinch, just add in a few people for now. You can always add in more for later. So that is it, my friends. Again, this is the process to get 
access back into your company page if you've lost access because the person who created the page is no longer with the company. And maybe it's a little bit awkward to reach out to them. Okay. Hopefully you found this tip helpful. And I do encourage you to reach out to me, Brenda at MellorMarketing.com or go to my website, MellorMarketing.com to learn more about my LinkedIn coaching and team training services. Have a great day.